and check out the view from the CTV Skywatch camera looking towards lovely sunny, would you believe, downtown Lethbridge? Well, at least some sunshine is trying to break through, but we're hearing thunder and we're also seeing some scattered showers. So it's a real mixed bag of weather right now. What's not a mixed bag is the fact that I'm giving away tickets to the Bulls game. And uh, you know the drill, leave me a daytime and an evening number if that's appropriate. I have tickets for tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday games. So leave me a daytime and an evening number if that's appropriate. And uh, I'll clear the phone lines and we'll take care of some ticket giveaways. Uh, bring your umbrella is all, <laughs> it's all I'm saying for the ball games. But uh, where you don't need an umbrella is down in eastern Canada right now where they're having... Uh, a heat alerts in many areas, southern Ontario, southern Quebec. It's uh, not just the temperature itself, which is in the mid-30s right now, but of course it's that high humidity levels, which is putting people in danger, especially people with uh, breathing problems, people that are suffering from asthma. They're asking people to check on seniors and to please put lots of water available for your pets. Here we have water available, but it's in the form of showers. We're at 12 degrees right now. We did get to 14 degrees. Actually, we got up to 16, and we're taking a little bit of a temperature hit right now, dropping back to 12 degrees. All areas uh, in southern Alberta not doing too bad temperature-wise. Of course, we're a good 10 degrees below where we should be for this time of year, but uh, all in all, it feels a little stickier than what it is uh, temperature-wise uh, indicated on the uh, contour maps there, only because uh, with the elevated humidity, it does feel a, 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 little, a little sticky out there. What we're watching right now, though, this is the real danger area right Right now and that's right on the border between Alberta and Saskatchewan more on the Saskatchewan part the core of the low pressure that is still giving us showers in the wraparound effect the core of it is right in from the uh, Cypress Hills area in Saskatchewan all the way up to the North Battlefield area that's tornado watch territory right now now on this side of the border we're still getting that convoluted you know you get the showers and then the Sun comes up and then the skies turn black and the showers uh, evolve again so that's all that active weather right now that's showing up on radar Not not really well organized. As I said, the core of this low pressure center is really anchored in Saskatchewan right now, but we're just getting the wraparound effect and we are getting some lightning flashes in the mix as well and expect those to continue into the overnight hours tonight. As we get into tomorrow, we'll start to see some clearing. We have a temporary area of high pressure that's going to be moving in, uh, but right now, uh, as you can see on the forecast, we're looking at the disorganized system. We got that temporary clearing as we get into Wednesday, so CKVN hot dog day tomorrow. Uh, starting at 1130 should be okay uh, and then as we get into uh, Thursday we have sunny skies that'll probably be the driest day of the week and then we've got reinforcements in the form of precipitation coming in as we get into Friday so a real mixed bag down east 15 degrees in St. John's they're expecting fog in the next couple of days as this massive amount of heat heads into Atlantic Canada but as we said it's really uncomfortable there with the humidex being in the low 40s 17 degrees in Winnipeg with uh, sun and cloud mix some showers in Regina right now 15 in Edmonton cloudy on the coast in Vancouver cloudy in Whitehorse and a sun and cloud mix very pleasant day in uh, Yellowknife right now your overnight forecast coming up on the screen for East Kootenai a low of seven tonight uh, that chance of thunder shower activity tonight tomorrow you're looking at a sun and cloud mix 21 degrees for a daytime high so if you're heading west tomorrow uh, it's looking very nice for the crow's nest pass five degrees for a low tonight uh, showers chance of a thunder shower tonight. Tomorrow, mainly cloudy with some sunny breaks, but later in the day, you're expecting to see some afternoon showers, risk of a thunder shower as well. For the Medicine Hat area, down to 10 degrees tonight. Windy tonight, chance of thunder showers tonight. Mainly cloudy tomorrow, 19 degrees for a daytime high. Your winds will be out of the west at about 20 kilometers per hour by the afternoon. Here in Lethbridge, 8 degrees for a low. That chance of thunder shower, lightning activity tonight, and then tomorrow, sun and cloud mix 40% chance of showers and that risk of a late day thunder shower, 18 degrees for a daytime high tomorrow. Thursday is the target day and that happens to be CTV day at the ballpark as well. So you won't need your umbrella that day, but as you get into Friday, uh, we start to see that reoccurrence of some shower activity late in the day Friday, extending into Saturday and Sunday, a risk. Not that you're gonna get totally rained out for the weekend, but there is that risk that unstable air mass is still gonna be sitting over us for several days as we get reinforcements from BC 
see uh, after the break tomorrow and Thursday, and then we, we start to see some shower activity as we head into the weekend. So yeah, it's just a convoluted forecast for the next few days. Just keep the umbrella handy, that's my advice. Now, when you're buying pet food, uh, make sure, and you can check with your vet to make sure that dangerous fillers are not part of your dog food. It, some of the cheaper brands can have straw and feathers and soy and even sawdust, and you can imagine what that does to your dog's digestive system, which means expensive veterinary treatments. So do yourself a favor, buy quality, check with your vet first. And that's our Focus on Safety message for this week.